Dangerous wildfires are burning on Maui. Winds from a hurricane that's hundreds of miles off the coast, fanning the massive flames, prompting widespread evacuations, ravaging thousands of acres and causing extensive property damage there. Much of Lahaina, a historic town that served as Hawaii's royal capital in the early 1800s, is believed to be destroyed. The fire is so intense, rescuers are pulling people from the water, the only place they could hide from the surging flames. NBC's Maura Barrett is tracking the fires for us. Also with us, NBC meteorologist Angie Lastman. So Maura, what are we learning about the evacuations and the efforts to contain the fires? Anna, the images are absolutely catastrophic. And remember, it's still early morning hours. They're just after 4 a.m. in Hawaii. But officials are describing the scene as rapidly evolving, but also uh, ex describing extensive damage. Now, as you talk about the hurricane that pushed those 60-mile-per-hour winds, fanning those flames, that's also hampering rescue efforts because those firefighting helicopters that typically drop water from the sky to contain the fires aren't able to fly. They're also not able to get an accurate depiction of how big the fire really is and which direction it's spreading because the helicopters are usually a way that they can get a good vantage point from there. And then on the ground, firefighters are facing many literal roadblocks as trees are down. They, they're not able to get through the roads as they typically might be. The 911 service is down in West Maui, so there's concern that people who need help with evacuations or with injuries aren't getting reached. Uh, Hawaii Electric has reported that 13,000 people right now are without power as there is this dual fire in West Maui, which is where in the very heavy populated tourist area. But then there's also another fire more inland uh, in the mountainous region. So there's a lot that the region is tackling right now. Uh, Maui has closed down several schools in the region, and there's obviously a lot of limited transportation emergency warnings in place. But I'll let Angie talk about the, the weather predictions, but we're hearing latest from officials that it appears that the wind should be dying down, which is welcome news uh, to these rescue efforts. Oh, fingers crossed. What a scary situation. Angie, what's so crazy here, the National Weather Service is telling us that it's a powerful hurricane for a uh, category four hurricane with sustained winds of 130 miles per hour, but it's some 700 miles southwest of Honolulu that's partly to blame for this fire. That's so far away. Fill us in. What are you watching? Yeah, so we've got a couple of things going on here, right? A, a few ingredients that have led to the scenario that we're seeing. The first is we are dealing with dry conditions. Uh, Hawaii, prone to wildfires. We know this. It does have a fire season, and the, the, the brush, the, the fuel for a fire is quite dry right now. We don't have a whole lot of rain in the forecast in the short term, but we've also got two areas of pressure. So we've got a high pressure and a strong high pressure at that that's sitting north of the islands. And as we look to the south, we've got that hurricane that you mentioned. Hurricane Dora, yes, more than 500 miles uh, away earlier in the day yesterday, more than 700 miles away now, and it's going to continue to move away. But when you have these two things kind of stacked on top of each other and Hawaii sandwiched in between them, you get really strong winds. You get really strong pressure gradient that leads to some of those stronger swings that we saw coming out of the islands, 50, 60 miles per hour, as high as 80 miles per hour. We saw some reports. So no surprise that if you have the dry conditions and a fire starts, it's going to spread rapidly. You heard that we're also having issues fighting that fire because of how strong those winds are with helicopters for the firefighters. Uh, and now we're talking about still dealing with this here, at least for the short term. Those two systems are going to start to move away in the next 24 hours. So the winds will die down. It doesn't look like we're going to see a whole lot in the way of rain, at least not until we get to maybe Saturday. And still, by Hawaiian standards, there's not much rain in the forecast. It's a pretty wet place, but over the next couple of days, looks fairly dry for the forecast. We see these red flag warnings in effect. Uh, what we're talking about is strong trade winds, strong winds on top of that with those two systems nearby. So hopefully we'll start to see some improving conditions here in the next couple of days. But as for right now, still dealing with these uh, wind warnings that are going to remain in effect for the short term. Angela Asman, thanks. Keep us posted. And Maura Barrett, thank you for that reporting.